easy by any measure. But yet, this team made it seem like it was effortless. These kids that you see in front of you are literally what makes our country great. For that, Your Excellency, I want to offer my gratitude to them, the gratitude of my family, the gratitude of your government, and to say that what you saw here today is only but the beginning. There is much more to go. We continue to seek your support. We continue to seek the support of uh, your national security team, uh, Colonel Maina, General Camaro, uh, and Waziri, who have always been with us. Um, and so for today, it's such a great occasion. I know you are all very nervous earlier, but we have to continue to be grateful for God for giving us the strength to not just realize something simple, but something great. And I think machines don't run themselves. It is you who make those machines run. And I've never been so proud of any team that I've ever had, and I've had many all over the world. And I can tell you, Your Excellency, that this is the top cream. Launching the very first, I believe, if I'm not wrong, semiconductor processing factory, not only in Kenya, not only in our region, but on the African continent. And I think that's something we should all be truly proud of. And furthermore, when he started the project, he started it in the midst of this very serious pandemic of COVID. And as a consequence, he wasn't able to bring his teams from outside the country who would have been responsible for putting this plan together. But that did not dampen his dream. And he has managed, working together with these wonderful young people in front of us, been able to assemble a very modern plant with almost 100% Kenyan man and woman power. I think that is worth it. I met one of his partners not so long ago, who had huge doubts about the wisdom of Gedenji here bringing this plan to Kenya. And again, very proud to hear him say that what he saw when he visited here, the expertise of our young people and the quality of workmanship that he saw far exceeded even the plant that they have in the United States. These are all things for us as Kenyans to be proud of. And this is the dream some of us have for this country. Our ability to be able to become an industrialized nation, to be able to create good quality, well-paying jobs for our young people and to be able to turn Kenya from a country that consumes products from other parts of the world to a country that exports not only her products but her technology across the globe. And this is a key foundation to that. Recently, again, working with similar young people like yourselves, we saw ourselves being able to develop our own weapons. This is something that costs the Kenyan taxpayer millions of shillings every year. By producing them locally, we are not only saving money, but again, once again, creating well-paying jobs. We will soon be in Mombasa and Kisumu launching shipbuilding in our country. 
we are getting back to the place where we want to now be making our own locomotives, as was there earlier on, to be able to turn our country into a producing country and not a consuming country. And I believe that this is the vision that we all need to work on. As we work on all the other infrastructure, as we work on generating sufficient power, building roads, putting the fiber network in play, why are we doing all these things? We're doing all these things so that we can attract industries such as these. For us to be able, and I'm very excited to see Madame here who is working again with this factory to use their technology to see how she can enhance her dairy production, her cheese making plant through the use of technology to be able to do all the necessary quality checks in order for her to be able to open up her product to export to Europe, to America and to other countries thereby giving her the opportunity not only to expand her business, but to expand the number of people she's employed. And the same will happen across our agricultural sectors. The same will happen as we move more towards drone manufacturing and many other areas that we are all interested in. We have educated people. All we need is to give them opportunities. And this is that foundation. And you are really the rock and the foundation that will build hope in and amongst colleagues of your generation, that there is opportunity, that there is hope, that there is a future. And this is what we are all working very hard to see ourselves achieve. So I, I really don't want to say much. I am very excited about this journey that Kenya has been embarking on for the last few years. And to begin to see some of it now come to fruition is not only exciting, but gives me a lot of hope as to the kind of country Kenya can be if we all pull together in the not too distant future. So once again, Bonagirinji, to you and to your partners, to these wonderful young people who have made this happen, I am looking forward to coming back to open another and another part of this particular plan. And as you increase the number of jobs by increasing the number of products that you're selling. We are already from here. The first African country we are selling micro uh, processors. We're selling to the United States now. We're selling to France. We're selling to Japan from Kenya. This is going to be the future for us to be able to now make our own motherboards, and from making our own motherboards, to making our own televisions, to making our own mobile telephones. These are all new opportunities that are all going to be created from this seemingly very small, but very critical foundation towards our manufacturing agenda for our republic. So I thank you, and I take this opportunity also to thank Deren Kimadi, University, and I want to thank them for also being visionary, not being difficult, allowing to give these young entrepreneurs seeking to come home, to bring their knowledge home, to give them space, to allow them to work with members of your staff, to enable them to engage with your students. Asante Sana. This would not have happened without your support. Kiona Kioni, Vice Chancellor, Vera Kwako, and your most supporting Adele Kimani University. Vera Kwako Pia, Governor, and your Bozi Wenzenu, who creates an enabling environment and has also facilitated our good friends, plus all the other different ministries, ICT, Ministry of Education and others who have been good facilitators to enable us to get to this stage. Let us look forward to a great and brighter future. Once again, Mongera, 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 Sam.
Yesu, tunakaribisha kwa